In this video, we're going to look at heat transfer from a solid wall to a flow. We're going to think about the temperature gradient at the wall. We're going to non-dimensionalize that temperature gradient at the wall. And we're going to come up with a definition of the Neusselt number. So if we consider a flow impinging on a flat plate, which has a temperature of Ts compared to the temperature in the flow of T infinity, uh, the flow impinging on the plate has a velocity of u infinity, and we know that when it impinges upon this plate, we're going to form a boundary layer where the velocity is adjusting to the free stream velocity from the zero value at the plate uh, through the momentum boundary layer of a thickness delta, which changes with position. Similarly, we have a thermal boundary layer where the temperature is varying from T surface out to T infinity over a distance by delta T, the thickness of the thermal boundary layer. If we know the temperature distribution and the velocity profile at this surface where the velocity is zero, Fourier's law, we'll have purely conduction heat transfer where the velocity is zero, and we know that the heat flux at any given location is given by Fourier's law minus K temperature gradient at the wall. So looking at this temperature gradient, we can determine that local heat flux. We can also describe that same heat flux in terms of Newton's law of cooling, where we have a convection coefficient times the difference in temperature between the surface and the ambient T infinity. So knowing the detailed distribution, knowing the temperature profile, we can of course calculate the heat flux, and then this is how we can solve for what that convection coefficient could be. Then somebody could use that convection coefficient without knowing the detailed distribution in this temperature profile and this gradient, and characterize the heat transfer with Newton's law of cooling from that surface. So now let's equate our two expressions. We have an expression using Newton's law of cooling, from which we define the convection coefficient and calculate it for engineering calculations. And we have Fourier's law at the surface, here, if we equate those two, we get this expression here, where h times Ts minus T infinity is minus k times the temperature gradient at the wall. We can solve for that temperature gradient from this expression like this, and now what I'd like to do is non-dimensionalize this temperature gradient. Here's our temperature gradient, and a common definition for the non-dimensional temperature, T star, is the temperature anywhere in my flow minus the surface temperature, divided by the maximum temperature difference in my flow, T infinity minus the surface temperature. And of course, a length will non-dimensionalize just by dividing by a length scale. We'll pick a length scale that may be different for different problems. We'll just call it L for now, and say that our non-dimensional position, non-dimensional y, y star, is equal to Y over L. Well, if I take the derivative of T star, I'll get that the derivative is DT divided by this constant, T infinity minus Ts, and likewise, if I take the derivative of y star, I'll get dy divided by this constant L. Now I can solve for each of these two terms in this equation. dt then is going to be equal to t infinity minus Ts times dt star, my non-dimensional change in temperature. And dy is going to be L times uh, dy star. So I'm going to substitute these into my equation for my, derivative, my gradient at the wall. And I'll get this expression here, where the L dy star came from there, and the T infinity minus T S dt star is my dt. Now I can rearrange this equation, multiplying through by my L, and notice that T infinity minus T S and T S minus T infinity will cancel out with, and also cancel out this negative sign. And so the non-dimensional temperature gradient at the wall, dt star dy star at y star equals zero, the wall, is equal to this HL over K. And you'll notice that HL over K is a non-dimensional, is a quantity with no dimensions. It is a non-dimensional number. And it's a non-dimensional number that we give the name Neusselt number. So this Neusselt number, HL over K, represents the non-dimensional temperature gradient at the wall, which we know characterizes the heat transfer at that location on the wall. It's important to note, I'll write it explicitly, Kf here. You may recognize this combination of variables from the Biot number, but in the case of the Biot number, we're talking about a solid. Here, we're talking about the fluid around our surface, and we're talking about describing this temperature gradient in non-dimensional sense at the wall, and it involves the fluid conductivity and has nothing to do with the solid conductivity. The Neusselt number, again, is the non-dimensional temperature gradient at the wall. It represents our heat transfer process from the solid to the fluid, or from the fluid to the solid. 
Convection heat transfer problems are typically solved by finding the correct Nusselt number for the geometry and flow condition in question. So you notice earlier in this presentation, we solved for the convection coefficient as a function of that heat flux at any location. When we want to solve a heat transfer problem and we don't know the field, what we're going to do is we're going to find the correct geometry, because the geometry will change these flow conditions, and of course the correct flow condition. This velocity, if this was a laminar flow, would be different than if it was a turbulent flow. So we're going to find the correct Nusselt number for that geometry and flow condition. And from that Nusselt number that we find, we're going to be able to calculate the convection coefficient and solve for our heat transfer problems, our convection heat transfer problems.